as you call it, about living in foster care. So, but, this is what I'm going to tell you. Maybe you will going to do a con this thing. It's like living in foster care. So, let's get it started. I'll start with the cons first. So, the ministry. So, the ministry is like a big boss for the social workers they control. Social worker, kids workers, they control everything, and um, he basically control what foster care is about, and it's not be fun growing up in that environment. So it's pretty frustrating being around that environment. Another thing is why is it super to see because um. Fender. At some points, Fender didn't. I know that you did something and you didn't do it. So that's why I don't be trusting the ministry and then broken promises. Like, oh, you're supposed to go to lunch with her, but you did. She didn't make it. Or didn't come. So. Yeah, and then there's the money problems. Like, they didn't pay for this school trip or anything or activities. They only paid for the medical care. And that is a big disappointment because kids are expensive, teenagers are really expensive. So, they're not, and then not allowed to have a voice. And I don't want this and I don't want that. So that's the bad part. And then bad support system by the ministry. Like not having your back about your future. Nah, that's what I didn't get. And then school problems. Like, like cyberbullying. They didn't do anything. Or, um, I didn't have a favorite teacher, and she forced me to stay for more year and quit job. I didn't be willing to show the ministry made that decision. And partly, my foster parents, but partly, technically, the ministry makes the big decision. Social worker and foster parents don't do anything, so, and I find that. Kind of push. And then no family vacation. I understand, but it costs money to go and I'm not going to complain about that. I'm really grateful with my family. And then they told you can't do this, you can't do that because you have a disability. Because we eat here up inside. And then another thing is not knowing who you are, like where you come from. Like I didn't know I had a birth certificate, so I look at it and I was like, thank you. And I was like, whoa, I didn't know that's my birth certificate. It's like a little card thingy. And then the last thing is I major depression. And I was eight to now, and that's really. Now I'll go through the problems. So, the first thing is the laptop. My social worker, the minister, gave me a laptop. It was free, they paid for it. So, that's the one thing they did. And then, they paid for the trip, my ticket to go to Halifax to visit Chantal. Yeah, okay, that's the one. Second thing they did, and then thinking Kathy always had my back, and I was there for him. And then I learned about good and evil at a young age, and proving bad people wrong. Yes, and, and being more independent, learning about the world. And having good friends support. No. 
and hanging out with friends and family. And the last thing how the positive that I graduated high school. None in my family that actually graduated high school. Except for Shantel and Jason. Jason and myself. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and hope you like this foster care video. Bye.